Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to do another message for the collective here. So we have wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble on aimlessly. Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys and angels, please allow me to live a clear message. Tent, temporary situation, so this is not going to last very long. And we have Apple. Temptation will test you. Okay. So these are all not going to resonate for everyone. So take what does and leave the rest behind. Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys, and angels, please allow me to leave a clear message for the Aries Collective. We have Target, a goal-oriented person. And Yoke that came out. Okay. Feeling tied down or frustrated. Give us one more card here. Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys, and angels, please allow us to work the message for the Aries Collective. So we have Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. The bottom of the deck, we have Lily. I just want to put this out. Lily, spiritual love. And at the other deck, we just have love. So this is definitely here a situation involving love. All right. So let's pull a confession card here. And we'll pull some romance angels. So give us one confession card of what's going on in the situation. So what somebody needs to know. Oh, wow. So at the bottom of the deck, we have I love you. A direct message to you from your person's energy. Oh, goodness. And we have, I've been trying to make you jealous. Another direct message here from your person's energy. Oh, goodness. What kind of toxic love is this? All right. Let's see what's going on here. Look at that codependency. All right. I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. All right. Give us one card here from the Romance Angels. Right. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And we also has finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. Stay optimistic is at the bottom of the gut. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Oof. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles just fell out here. In reverse. So somebody is definitely having some sort of financial situation here. Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys, and angels, please allow me to give a clear message for the Aries Collective. What do they need to see at this moment in time? What do they need to see? Shuffle one more time. Thank you. There's an Ace of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck upright this time. So let's see. What is the situation here? Holy Spirit, it's an angel. Thank you. Ten of Cups and the Four of Cups. Ooh, someone is feeling rejected. I also just heard they're going to miss a good opportunity here. Someone here is relationship material and someone is acting like they don't see it. Okay, they could be, like card says, trying to make someone jealous here. By just ignoring the situation, but they have a very good relationship opportunity in front of them and they're not taking it. Hmm. What is the challenge here? The King of Wands and the Fool card. So Aries, this could be you here in this challenge position or this could be the challenge for you is that you want to start something new with this person. OK, um, but somebody here is in their ego and that doesn't have to be you. It could be them, but or it also could be you. But somebody here is definitely in their ego. They are trying to take control of the situation, but it may cause for someone to flee the situation also. OK, we got the strength here. What is spirit when you focus on Aries, the Queen of Swords? OK, not letting someone play games with you. Being very clear about what it is that you want, because I'm feeling like there's lack of communication here with the Page of Wands in reverse. Being very clear about what it is that you want, especially if you want something serious, speaking your truth, speaking your mind. 
one happened here in the past. Oof. King of Swords in reverse. Oof. Okay, so Aries, I don't know who this is or who you're dealing with. This could be like a divorced person, right? And they're just kind of bitter, angry. They still have a lot of hurts and pains going on with them. Not so nice energy here when the King of Swords is in reverse. Okay, they don't, uh, their words hurt. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands here. Someone here is kind of, can be very kind of non-committal, plays games. Let's see here. What's crowning the Aries? Four of Wands. Three of Cups. A celebration coming together. It could be even reconcile, reconciling as well. Hmm. Hmm. So Aries, I feel like if this is, you know, if this is you and somebody is playing games with you, right? You may have offered them love or some sort of commitment and they're playing with you. Uh, I feel like you're going to continue to do you anyway, especially here with the fool. You may have felt like kind of like, oh my goodness, what do I do? Like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you may continue to go off and do you, even if this person is trying to play with your emotions. Now, this could also be a coming together. Let's see here. What's in the future position? We got the seven of pentacles in the future position. Thinking, contemplating waiting in the four of swords somebody is not doing something they're just thinking and they're waiting like should i do this should i invest in this somebody could also be healing as well oh yeah nine of swords a lot of thinking a lot of meditating a lot of contemplating but they're taking their time whoever this is they're taking their time Oh, goodness. Aries, how do you feel about this? Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And the Queen of Cups. So you are very full of love here. You you have a very loving energy to yourself and to whoever this person is around you. Like, it's almost like you understand that this person may be coming from a very hurt space. That's what I'm getting here. Like the person that you're dealing with is coming from a very hurt space, but you have a lot of compassion. I feel like for yourself and for this person. Queen of Cups energy here. Very healing love. What is in your environment, Aries? Four of Pentacles. Person is holding back. And it could be for financial reasons as well. We have the finances and career. So they could be holding back, maybe. <laughs> I mean, like somebody specifically could have went through a divorce and they feel like, you know, they don't have enough to take you out on a date. We have the chariot card at the bottom of the deck. Take you out on a date or even give you what you're worth. And that's why they could be playing these games. Maybe they feel like if they make you jealous or they hold back, that you will come to them. But yeah, we don't get down like that, right? Okay, what are your inner emotions here about this, Aries? Seven of Cups and the Magician. It's making you confused. Oh, that the Magician, Queen of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Still confusion though, okay? Um. Wow, and I'm hearing like whoever this is, male or female, but it's like, I know that I'm worth more than this. I know someone is playing games with me and I know I'm worth way more than this. Queen of Pentacles energy. You know that you're a high value male or female. And you are nobody's option. Nine of Pentacles here. You are very single, independent, good looking. I'm hearing you have your own, you hold your own weight. And so you don't like, you may obviously be making more money than this person or just very well off, more well off than this person. And so it's like, you don't really have time for these games. And even if it's not about the money situation, you're just very independent. And you don't play these games, not with yourself or other people. Hmm. What's the outcome here? We have the Nine of Cups, it was fulfillment. And we have the Moon. So something is hidden. There's some sort of fear. Someone is may not be acting. What is the Moon? all come out what is the moon energy the high priestess mm -hmm. definitely somebody is hiding something secrets could be another person 
clarify this high priestess. Six of Wands, Page of Cups, Oof, Three of Swords. Yeah, before I even saw the Three of Swords, I already knew what was going on here. And the Magician. Somebody's going to get their feelings hurt, to be quite honest. I feel like somebody here was trying to make somebody jealous because they felt like they weren't adequate enough for the person. So they may have brought a third party situation into this mix which there wasn't really a mix i feel like whoever i'm speaking to this may have been a newer situation or it's just getting up off the ground there was real love in between you two but somebody's confidence level wasn't like at your confidence level so instead of just approaching you and saying hey i want to date you i want to be with you they tried to play games with you and it could possibly be because of they were not feeling like they measured up to you could be financial issues it could be confidence issues Aries, I feel like you're not going to wait around for this person. I feel like you're going to either manifest new love and move on. And this person is going to make a fool out of themselves. That's what I'm really feeling here, especially with the Three of Swords. What is the um, seven, of, seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords? Ace of Swords. So yeah, clarity, a victory. Somebody is going to either cut the situation off, communicate and say, hey, um, I'm not really waiting for this anymore. Maybe somebody may get the, you know, the kahunas to speak. What is this? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Ace of Wands. I really feel like Aries that you may not wait for this person. You may end up starting something brand new with someone else. Ace of Pentacles. You're coming up as very abundant. Like somebody who knows their worth. You have a lot to give. You're very generous with your time and your love and your affection. And I feel like you would have been with this person, but they were playing too many games. <laughs> nice child. Death card here. Ace of Wands. So I feel like you're going to put it into this situation and you may move on. Hmm. So that's what I have for you guys. I just wanted to put a quick message out and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.